Good morning, interwebs. It is about 8.40 this morning. Uh, I am home from work. Had another nothing night in terms of calls at work. Um, but did get to watch several soccer games. Got myself a new pair of running shoes ordered and some new running shirts because I bought this package as a trial. And they worked well, so I bought another package. So I will have enough to get rid of all of my running shirts that are now close to 20 years old. Uh, I don't know why they're wearing out. That just seems a bit unreasonable. Um, then uh, I browsed a bunch of toilets because we probably need a new one soon. Ours is not flushing very well. Um, it's not that it's clogging. It just doesn't put enough water in to uh, suck everything down in terms of the gravity feed. So, um, didn't pull the trigger on any of those last night, but did uh, search around. And then uh, on my way home, stopped by a co-worker's house because she'd offered me some uh, milk crates that she'd found in her mom's house. And she knew that I liked uh, the milk crates for our canning stuff. So picked up five of those from her porch this morning. And I don't think I woke her up, which would be good because I know she works a lot. Uh, came home, got myself changed, and I am about to head out for my run, which I, because of the fair, didn't, um, and then taking the car in last week, haven't gone in, uh, almost a little over a week, so, um, it'll be good to get out and do that again. Run has been gone on. I went four miles today, went around the section, which is my normal run. The farm sections are one mile by one mile, so I run north east, south, west, and then finish up at home. Um, for my four miles, it's a dirt road and it rained two nights ago and I thought for sure it would be dry enough, but then I forgot that it had been pretty overcast most of yesterday morning and early afternoon. Uh, so there were a couple spots that were a little wet on the dirt road, uh, making my feet a little bit heavy for just a few spots, but usually it would dry out pretty quick, so it was never too bad. Um, but again, having taken a little over a week off, it uh, made the legs feel a little extra heavy. Um, but it felt really good. Uh, got home, went and walked through the garden, and there were a lot less grasshoppers jumping around. So that was very exciting to see. Uh, hopefully that will maintain uh, through the week because the spray, you can only spray once a week. Um, and if I can get it to stay that way until next weekend... Um, I can spray again and maybe win the battle with the grasshoppers uh, since I have been doing so much better against the cucumber beetles and the squash bugs. Um, my squash plants are the healthiest I've ever seen them in August. Um, doesn't mean they're perfect because they're all really small, but the green the leaves are so vibrantly green and they are still producing, um, which is not common for me. So. Hopefully that will maintain as well, and we will have a good couple months of gardening here. Breakfast has been had. It was some raisin oatmeal. Uh, the one that doesn't like raisin oatmeal just had to have plain oatmeal made in the microwave. And some Star Wars was watched, and a little snooze was had. Not real long, because the uh, morning chores were... Done extra loud today, as they frequently are when I try and take a little snooze on the couch. Um, so that didn't last terribly long, but now I'm up, I'm going to head out, water the potted plants, then I think I'm going to hook the boat up to the truck today and try to, um, the cover got torn up in the windstorm, so I ordered a new one that I need to put on, and then so I'm going to have the cover off, I have some work I want to do on the boat, uh, I had put a new bilge pump in it and it never got hooked up, uh, properly, and um, the trailer lights had a wire break that needs to get soldered back together and some fun things like that. So hopefully it will be closer to ready to go if we were to want to use it. Good morning interwebs. It's about noon. I've been up for a little bit talking to my daughter, but she is now outside, so I'm doing the things. I'm about to put all the glass containers that were Steve's um, dishes last night for work uh, out of this bag, which I made myself, which I really like. I have a bunch of these. I used a uh, plastic shopping bag as the pattern. So they're like reusable shopping bags, which, you know, is not uncommon. But these actually fit on those little metal prongy bits at the store. 
So, you know, there's way less reason that the checkers should be incompetent at filling them. It doesn't stop them from being incompetent at filling them. I live in a state where they have not yet banned plastic bags. And, I mean, hello, Kansas is usually pretty behind on things like that, so it'll be a while. But, that means that our checkers still give you, like, dirty looks when you show up with reusable bags. And they don't know how to fill them. And it's just, it's a thing. It's usually better if we go to, like, because we do all our shop at Walmart. If you go to the younger-ish checkers, many of them are people who are, uh, clearly not from here locally. They have moved here for whatever reason. Which makes me think they came from a place where reusable bags are more common. But, they know how to fill them. The other checkers, especially some of the cranky lady checkers, we have a number of those at our Walmart, they get, they get kind of upset. It's weird. Um, and also, if they would just stop trying to talk to me while I'm checking out, whoa, sorry, I was trying to lift a cast iron skillet one-handed. But if they would just stop trying to talk to me while I'm in line, which just generally would make me happy, um, they would have better success at filling the bags. Kind of like maybe if I wasn't talking to you, I would have a better success at hanging up all these pots, um, which had been on the stove to dry from whoever did the dishes. Okay. Hanging up the last lid, if I can get it. Ah. Apparently this morning is just kitchen story time with Kendra, as I tell you what's on my counter while I do things. I don't know why. Anyway, I'm making up my bagel right now. It's an everything bagel from Aldi. But then this, I bought this when we first got back from California. We're gonna go on the train. And anyways, it's gonna bring mini bagels and some cream cheese spread for our first meal. Um, I don't ordinarily buy like the spreadable cream cheese, but I did for convenience. But I found after I used it that I really liked like this tub, both how it fit in my fridge and how the cream cheese came out. So this is just a block of cream cheese. A whole eight ounce block fits in this container. Way better than anything else I've tried to keep my, you know, store-bought, like the whole blocks in. So I washed it out and now it's my new cream cheese container. So if you're looking for like a good way to store inexpensive cream cheese that you can then use more functionally, one time buy the expensive spreadable cream cheese, especially in this rectangular thing because it means you can just hack a couple of ounces off the brick and then dump it in and then stick the other part of the brick on top and it all stays nice. So if you just do that, it's a nice, quick, easy way to store your cream cheese and then my cream cheese lasts longer and doesn't go moldy and doesn't get all icky and weird if you just leave it in the package. Other thing that I noticed in my kitchen that's kind of cleaning up the counter is this dish towel. It's raggedy. You can actually, you can probably see light through it. But it's got a Rosie the Riveter on it and it says we can do it. And I got this from one of our best friends from high school. Um, went into the Navy right out of high school. And he had been stationed in Japan and whatever. So we didn't see him very often. But I used to talk to him on the phone a lot. I was his person who didn't mind being woken up in the middle of the night. So he would call my poor roommate in college. Our phone would ring at like 4.30 in the morning or whatever because whenever he got leave to call, he would call me in the middle of the night um, to talk. And so he got me that towel. One time when he was on leave, I think he would see the USS Missouri actually on leave one time. And they had that in the gift shop and he said it made him think of me. So he bought me that towel, which I really, really love because it was a present from him. Um, so it still stays in our rotation, even though it probably should, uh, should, you know, retire. And I'm trying not to keep as many things that are like super random and I'm only keeping for sentimental reasons when they're no longer functional. And with that in mind, I keep this towel on the bottom of the towel stack so I don't use it very often. So it's like eking out its last little bit of being a functional towel, but it always makes me happy when I see it. So. It occasionally, like clearly we have gone through the whole stack of towels. We got really behind on things. Um, so my my you can do it towel came up, but it will it will go back to the bottom of the stack here shortly for me to uh, to wait and see it another time. But it's always nice too, because it makes me think of him. And I'm trying to get back in contact. We managed to like lose contact. And I'm trying to put out feelers to like 
his family members on social media because I found a couple of them that they could maybe hook me back up with him. But here's the thing, so many people I can find on like Facebook and Instagram, because I don't use Facebook, but I do use Instagram as y'all know. But like, I can find them and I can message them and I don't know if it's they don't read their direct messages from people who aren't like, they aren't friends with, or if people just don't check these social medias. So sometimes, you know, you have to wait a while. So we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully that'll be a reconnection that'll happen here soon. And when it does, my towel will still be in my cabinet. Okay, bagel time. And my outside day is over. Um, I did get the cover on the boat. There it is. Looks much, much nicer than the old one that had a bunch of holes in it. Um, I also bought tarps to go over it, but I don't have bungee cords for them. I forgot to buy those at Walmart the other day. Um, this is supposed to be a waterproof cover, so I think I can leave it like this just fine for a few days. Um, no luck with the trailer lights or the blower motor. Um, I think the trailer lights, I just need to get the ground reattached, and that's a matter of buying a, an eyelet and a bolt um, to do that. But then they weren't working coming from the truck either, um, so... I will have to work on that. There is a relay that says trailer um, something or other relay, and I'm thinking maybe that went out. So I will have to take a look at that and see if there's any power coming out of the truck or what it might be. But anyways, that was it. Um, inside the boat wasn't nearly as bad as I had expected. Um, there were a couple little mice nests, but no real damage except for one hole in our uh, little roof. Um, so I'm sure we can find a way to patch that up at least a little bit if uh, if we head out. So anyways, that again looks much nicer than what we had. Well, it's about 10 to 2. Dishwasher's going in here. I have spent the last while editing my county fair video for the other channel, which took a while because the video itself was like 36 minutes. And so I had to at least watch that much footage. But, you know, it takes extra time on top of that. So that's how I spent my uh, morning time and now it's time to make lunch because for some reason we all keep wanting to eat so you'll remember this scallop squash from yesterday i need to wash it off still i didn't want to wash it you don't want to wash the stuff till you want to use it because there's like a slightly protective layer on the vegetables and once you wash them they start going bad quicker commercial onion some garlic from the garden i'm gonna bust all this up and throw it in my cast iron skillet, saute it down a little, and then I'm gonna put scrambled eggs on top. And then I'm gonna make a tomato salad to go with it, and I think that will be a lovely lunch. So, time to get cooking. And lunch today, there's scrambled eggs with the scallop squash onions and some herbs, tomato salad with onion and herbs again, and then these are some frozen peaches, which are a little frosty, but they will, they'll continue to defrost as we go. And these, um, were picked and put in our freezer, not from our plants, but from a nearby place a year ago, maybe? So, anyways, going to go and enjoy this deliciousness. Well, it is a little bit before four. We had lunch, Steve has gone to bed, cleaned up the kitchen, the kids are all off reading their independent reading books. So I am sat here with a cup of Irish breakfast tea. <sighs> trying to get past the afternoon sleepies. So, I'm going to work on my blanket here for a bit. I'm gonna finish off this ombre stripe and then probably add in a stripe of this green. And then, my plan this evening, uh, other than a few things I need to do with the kids, is to work on sewing some stuff. I printed out a pattern and I just need to clear off my Sewing table has some things on it that need to go away and my ironing board has some things on it that need to go away So that way I have my space back So that I can iron fabric and cut fabric and then sew fabric So I have some bags I want to work on and then I also think I might start working on sewing a few garment things I have a few that are already cut out that just need to be sewn and then I have a few ideas of some things I'd like to cut out and figure out but I probably am not going to work on those yet I'm still still thinking about how I want to do those but I'm going to start by drinking my tea listening to a podcast and things and I'm uh, yeah, going to work on this stripe not going to spend my whole afternoon doing this but I'm going to spend 
a wee bit of time just like I said to try and get through this the sleepy we'll see if it works <laughs> if not I'll take a nap but I think I can I think I can power through all right so I spent my afternoon evening whatever I spent the last while <laughs> cleaning up my office some which turned out cleaning off the surfaces I was talking about took much more effort and it led to a larger cleaning experience of my office. I still have not accomplished all the things I had enumerated earlier, but I did get some extra things that I hadn't thought of done. So that's good. And now I've made dinner. This is some small shells and then I made homemade white sauce, which I then put cheddar cheese in to make it macaroni and cheese, which I then put chili beans in to make it chili mac. So I'm looking forward to some of this very, very hot food, but very delicious to get in my belly. And then I think I might even open up some canned pears for dessert, like commercially canned, but that sounds tasty. We'll see though. This might fill me up. This is pretty rich. Well, I am about to head to bed. I had, I don't know, it was a night. It was fine. I went through, I think I mentioned earlier that I was clearing off the flat surfaces, which I've managed to kind of refill. But it was because I have been going through my yarn and consolidating primarily my acrylic. So like over there, you'll see my yarn drawers. And I have like, that one's got a bunch of empty space and those have been consolidated and have empty space. And that one is almost empty. So anyways, I went through and I was balling things up and pulling things out and whatever, moving things into scrap that should be in scrap and moving things around because I'm in the process of trying to make space in my office, not by getting rid of things, but rather by use, using up what I have or, um, just moving things so they're more efficiently stored because in the not crazy distant future I will have a lot of stuff that needs to move into this office. Um, I mentioned last year that I am inheriting all of my mom's fabric and there's a lot <laughs> and I need to make it all come to this space eventually. I need to pick it up from California eventually soon-ish and it needs to fit in here and I think it will all be just fine. I just need to start the process of moving things around so that that can happen. Well, in the process of me moving things around and balling things up, I found that I had um, three skeins of Lion Brand Heartland. I had one of the dark blue, one of the medium blue, and one of the gray. And so I accidentally started a sweater. You know, like one does. So it's going to be like more of a top than a sweater, but... This is uh, where it's at. I made it through all of the dark blue that I had and did the like bodice -y, or not the bodice, like the part around the neck. And then I split for, for sleeves. And now I'm doing this, but I don't know that it's gonna have sleeves. I have tried this little bit on and I quite enjoy the way that it fits. So we'll see. I'll keep going with this blue and then I'll decide what I think. But there's a good chance this will be a like sleeveless like a tank toppy kind of thing I don't know kind of off the shoulder I think it's fun and I am finding it very silly because the colors of this I have a pair of pajamas that I like that are cotton and like super comfy and they are like two shades of blue very similar to these so I wonder if wearing this is gonna make me feel like I'm wearing pajamas because like that'd be all right um but I don't know Anyways, I'm heading to bed because sleep seems like a good plan, and I will see you all tomorrow. Nighty-night!